товарищи. And welcome to what's probably going to be a pretty long video log because I've uh, got a lot to say about a lot of different things. Uh, so much that I've actually written them down on a list so I wouldn't forget everything that I needed to say. In any case, I hope you guys really enjoyed the uh, Game of the Year videos. They came out later than I would have liked and there's a couple reasons why that is. First off was really at work. Um, right around the time that I wanted to get those videos out, uh, I had a whole bunch of stuff that, uh, you know, my employer and uh, we were at a meeting and he's like, we've got a bunch of stuff that we need to do. Spencer, you're going to do it. It needs to be done as soon as possible. So I ended up, uh, you know, working some pretty intense hours, uh, working like 10 hour days, working through the weekend. So it was a lot of fun. But uh, that period has subsided. But the main thing was a lot of what I was doing for work was video editing. And I wasn't, you know, super stoked about spending uh, you know, eight hours a day video editing, video editing to come in and be like, man, you know what I really want to do? More video editing. So uh, I wanted to do anything in the world but video edit it. But you know, that's done for now. The other problem was I was having a lot of issues with my video editing software, mainly the encoding process. And I'm using CS4, I'm sorry, Adobe Premiere CS4. Uh, well, I was, and what was happening was. Uh, you know, I finished the project and send it to be encoded and, pro and then once it's finished, you know, processing, then upload it to uh, YouTube. But during that encoding process, um, the program would like crash or stop about halfway through. And it was extremely frustrating. Sometimes I'd be able to finish a video. Um, other times, you know, or most of the time it would just stop. So I formulated a two-pronged uh, two solution to solve this problem. One was I ended up uh, buying more RAM for my computer and upgraded from 8 gigs to 24 gigs. And people say that's excessive and that's probably right, but if you're processing video, you want a lot of RAM because uh, it's a pretty resource intensive process. Next was I upgraded from CS4 to CS6, and that seems to have solved the issue. Um, I've done a couple trial runs, and everything seems to be working just fine which is a huge weight off my shoulders because I was getting really worried. But uh, crisis has been averted, so um, that's good. I just have to learn about CS6, but it's you know the same vehicle as CS4, just with, with some, some new interface and tweaks and all that good stuff. But uh, next thing I want to talk about was um, I actually want to talk about some of the things that I ended up purchasing recently, and I wanted to you know share my thoughts on a, on a handful of them. My handful, I mean two. I don't know how much the handful really is. But uh, in any case, one of the things I ended up buying was uh, Walking Dead uh, Compendiums 1 and 2. And this uh, encompasses issues uh, 1 to 96. And you know, they're pretty hefty books. You know, they're, they're like 10 pounds a piece or, or something like that. And I'm hugely enjoying them. I hadn't really had any experience with the. Uh, Walking Dead comics until I, you know, picked these up, and they're extremely compelling. I'm enjoying just you know, every second of them. But uh, I'm really trying to decide, you know, what I like the most. Do I like the comics or the video game or the TV show the most? And it's it's really tough. They're all so great. But uh, if the, the the comics are fantastic, but I have one little nitpick with them, and that is that they're not subtle at all, and they're constantly bashing you over the head with the theme. And, you know, the theme is that, uh, you know, the people are the real zombies, the zombies aren't the zombies. And, uh, you know, they, they never cease to uh, hammer this, you know, into you. And I'm like, okay, dude, I got it. You don't need to, you know, tell me every three pages. But, I mean, it's, it's exemplified kind of even in the cover here. As you can see, you know, the, the top is all the characters. And then, you know, you flip it over and it's all the characters in zombie form. So, there you go. Next, uh... I ended up picking up a, a uh, Wii U here because um, I'm secretly a Nintendo fanboy. Actually, I don't know if it's that big a secret. Uh, but I was at EB Games and you know I was talking to the guy and I asked him, you know, you have any Wii U's left in stock? And he's like, we got one more. And then this switch turned on my brain and I'm like, okay, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. So I ended up buying it. And I got the deluxe edition with uh, Zombie U. And uh, I wish, you know, I wish both that I had more time to play it 
and two, that I wish there was more games to play on it. And I know those are kind of contradictory wishes, but uh, you know, hopefully things will sort themselves out. But it's a pretty cool uh, little system. I really like the uh, gamepad. I think the gamepad's really cool. And another thing I like about it is um, this uh, this Miiverse uh, application or program or whatever. And it really makes you feel like you're connected to this, you know, s huge social world out there because it's constantly popping up with what people are saying about various things and, you know, people's pictures because you can use the gamepad to draw pictures and some of them are really cool. So there's all these cool pictures popping up and people's thoughts and it, it really makes you feel connected and I really enjoy uh, that aspect of it. But, you know, it's a console, you know, it plays games and its success or failure is really going to depend on the kinds of games it gets. And I'm sitting here really waiting for Pikmin 3 to come out, because I'm a huge Pikmin fan. And uh, I also found out that my uh, Wii sort of uh, composite cables um, are applicable and they work with Wii U. So once I get my capture card replaced or fixed or whatever, uh, that means Wii U uh, as well as, you know, Xbox and PS3 and, and older systems. So they're all in the realm of being able to do Let's Plays of once I get my capture card replaced. Uh, so, it's very, very uh, cool to me. And I think a uh, Pikmin 3 Let's Play, when it comes out, would be pretty awesome. So, last thing, though, is I actually ended up finally getting a credit card. And uh, that was really exciting for me, because that's kind of like a you know first step to building a credit score and financial independence and all that kind of stuff. I mainly just wanted to get it for online shopping, because I couldn't really buy anything online uh, besides using my PayPal account. And, you know, things like Amazon, they don't use PayPal, and I couldn't buy anything off Amazon without a credit card. So, you know, this is just, you know, something, a little nice thing to, to have if I wanted to, you know, get some, you know, random things. Uh, I've actually bought some random things that hopefully I'll get to uh, show in the near future. Um, I don't want to, you know, say what they are, but uh, they, they're they pretty cool. So, we'll come back to that when we have the uh, opportunity. Alright, the next thing I want to spend a little bit of time talking about was something that uh, I talked about in a previous video log where I was saying what I was potentially going to do with the website and uh, maybe bring back the forums and that sort of stuff. Then a couple of people found out about this and decided that it would be a great idea to come to that video and insult me and belittle me and tell me what a terrible person I was for even uh, bringing up the idea and all sorts of mean, nasty things about me, which I think was a little bit uncalled for, especially when you consider at that time that I was going through, uh, you know, some not so fun times with the death of our dog and the death of our grandmother. So all in all, to quote the uh, Shogun 2 General, is a pretty shameful display. I think most people know that I'm not an evil guy, I'm not a bad guy. You know, I never wake up in the morning and think, man, you know, today, how can I really screw this person over? Or how can I really pe mess up this person's life? You know, I wake up and, you know, try and live my life and do the things I enjoy and maybe help one or two people along the way, if, you know, that's possible. But, um, I mean, even the Prince of Mastodon came to me, he's like, dude, you got a lot of trolls in your channel. And, you know, when the Prince of Mastodon comes to you and says, you got a lot of trolls, well, there's probably an issue there. But uh, to follow up on that point, what I will say is that there's no way right now I can even conceive of uh, managing a website and the forums. I'm already doing so much more than maybe one guy should try and do. You know, I'm doing uh, work, I'm doing political activism. I'm doing, I'm trying to help uh, start up another business with some friends, I'm doing YouTube videos and still trying to maintain somewhat of a social life, you know, intermixed with all this different stuff. There's, there's, there's no way I can budget my current time frame to do something like that, so it's got to be shelved uh, indefinitely. So, just to follow up on that, that's what I have to say there, that there's just so much stuff uh, going on right now that it's just, I can't even think about that. And, uh, yeah, so the next thing, let's see here, oh yes, well, la or second to last thing, we're almost there, um, is I wanted to bring up a new segment that I wanted to start doing. And I noticed that, again, to bring up Prince of Mastodon, as he does uh, this, is basically do a mailbag. Uh, I want to do a mailbag every week where people will send me questions, and I uh, get to talk about them, and I was really kind of influenced to do this because I get sent a lot of questions, you know, from people and they want to know my uh, opinions on, on different things, on games, on politics, on philosophy, on history. And some of these 
questions that people send me are these like pretty uh, open-ended questions and you know some guy uh, he sent me a message he's like what do you think of central banking and I'm like that's that that is going to take a lot of time to explain you know that's that's you know I could uh, potentially uh, sit and spend an hour writing uh, this guy a message about what I think about central banking or I can um, spend you know five ten minutes to explain it in a video and I think something like that would be more beneficial to everybody that if uh, you know you had a question to ask me that I would uh, explain it here and uh, you know then everybody can know my opinions on on various things so on top of that what I want to do with this uh, the, these uh, videos these mailbag videos is um, I want to also start doing bi-weekly giveaways oh, sorry not bi bi-weekly but bi-weekly bi no bi-monthly there we go sorry because bi-weekly would be two times a week and Anyway, two times a month is essentially what I want to do. Is I want to take um, uh, take some time to uh, try and do some giveaways for people. And what I would do is I, you know, do the video, answer some questions, and then at the end I would be like, okay, this is our giveaway, um, and this is how you're going to get it. Then the next week I would say who the winners are and you know give them out. And then uh, the week after that I would start another one, and so that's how it would it would work in my mind. So that's why it would be. Uh, bi-monthly. So I want to start this as early as uh, Sunday. I want to make it a weekly thing, so therefore I'll always remember to do it. That'll be every Sunday, uh, you know, mailbag videos. So if you have any questions for me that you want me to answer in the first episode, they can be about anything. They can be about Let's Plays. You know, what, you know, a lot of people ask what happened to this Let's Play, you know, the Civ Let's Play or the Crusader Let's Play. So you can ask that. You can ask stuff about my personal life. You can ask my opinions on, on various current events, on uh, you know politics, philosophy, history. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, of course, I'll use uh, yeah, maybe some discretion uh, when answering uh, some of these questions. But I'm a pretty open guy. Um, I'm a pretty there's very limited conceivable questions that I won't answer. So uh, send me a message either Facebook or Twitter or YouTube anywhere else and. Uh, Come to Sunday, I hope to have some you know great questions, and we'll start this first segment, and then I'll also announce what uh, our first giveaway is going to be. I already have something lined up, and uh, hopefully it'll be pretty cool. That uh, I think it's pretty cool, but uh, maybe that's just me. Any case, so that's something to look forward to. Something I'm, I'm a little bit excited about, and something I think you know helps everybody rather than spending uh, all this time answering individual questions. I can you know spend uh, this time making a video and answer those questions and, and everybody can uh, you know hear that so last thing is I just want to talk a little bit about um, some uh, future videos and I got a couple uh, ideas and throwing around in my head um, is uh, I want to start doing Starcraft content for sure again because Heart of the Swarm is coming up in fact I just pre-ordered my you know copy of Heart of the Swarm uh, just today so I was uh, pretty excited about that, and I played StarCraft II today for the first time in a long time, and that was like pulling teeth, because what happened was uh, they banned my account for suspicious activity, whatever the hell that is. So I was like, okay, no problem, whatever. Um, so I went and I, I tried to find the DVD, uh, or the, the disc case, that had the original StarCraft uh, C CD in it, and I have the, the collector's edition right here, oops, that's the wrong time, and uh, it still has everything in it except the DVD case with the game in it. So uh, I'm currently operating under the theory that uh, my ex-ex girlfriend probably has it, it probably uh, got switched um, up and uh, got mixed up with some of her stuff, so she probably has it and it, there, therefore it's long gone because the last time I saw that CD was when we lived together. But, uh, you know, there was a weird story uh, about her, actually, uh, involving ex-ex-girlfriend and ex-girlfriend, where uh, somebody messaged my last girlfriend about her and said, uh, sent her an anonymous email and was like, you better watch out, uh, you know, Stalin is cheating on you. Well, Spencer, I'm pretty sure they used my real name in the email. Spencer is cheating on you with his... Uh, previous girlfriend, and uh, that led to a nice conversation between me and my at the time girlfriend about 
uh, what, the, what the hell was this? You know, I had to sit here and say, oh, I haven't talked to her in years and years and years. And it was uh, weird. I don't know why anyone would ever do that. But, you know, now that uh, that relationship is over, I can I feel a little bit more at liberty to talk about some of the weird things that happened during it. And there were, there were some weird things that happened during it. And that was a, certainly one of them. And that gives you a little bit of insight into how the awesome drama that was part of my life at that time. Now there's almost no drama, which I couldn't be more thankful for. So definitely want to bring back the uh, StarCraft uh, stuff. I did get my account uh, unfrozen. Uh, I, it was like pulling teeth, uh, trying to get in contact with Blizzard customer support. Finally did it, and uh, it merged my old account with a new account. So that's all great. It took the whole day. So I definitely want to make use of that, and definitely I want to bring back uh, one. I want to start doing battle reports again to ramp up for Heart of the Swarm. And I'm thinking maybe even an original StarCraft Let's Play would be fun. Um, also want to do maybe a third age uh, let's play Lord of the Rings or sorry the the third age Total War let's play because I've been playing around with that mod and I'm having a lot of fun and I think that'd be great and I haven't done a Total War let's play in a while so there's a couple ideas I'm floating and I'm actually running out of time so sorry about the length of this video log there's a lot of stuff I wanted to talk about a lot of stuff to cover but I got it all covered so with that I want to thank you guys for watching this has been Joseph Fusermont of Stalin signing off for now and I'll see you guys next time.